<laughs> Actual words are overrated. It is not even needed for AI to generate illustrations anymore. What's going to be next? Emojis? On a more serious note, this is actually possible. However, it is only because of the new stable diffusion model called Anything V3 that surfaced on the internet a little more than a month ago. Its origin is unknown, so don't ask where it's version 2 or version 1. All we really know is that it appeared out of nowhere on a Chinese forum and that it was most likely fine-tuned on the leaked novel AI models. Anything V3 is probably the best model for generating anime styled images. And in my humble opinion, the quality of the generated images are much better than any other models we have seen at that time, closed sourced or open source. Spoiler alert at that time. The reason that I believe Anything V3 is better than any other anime focused models, such as Anime Full Latest and Waifu Diffusion V1.3, is not just that it is slightly better at generating anatomy, it is also because it handles lighting and shading way better than what we have seen before. Before, especially if you use their VAE checkpoints on top. AFL may sometimes create more stylistic patterns, but from my own experience dealing with AI-generated images, being able to produce good lighting and shading requires more luck than anything else, which usually involves heavily bracketing detailed lighting and praying to the almighty AI art god that the outcome gives you something decent. Maybe people get addicted to generating AI art because it feels like opening a personalized loot box. But anything V3 is like when the loot box always gives you the legendary tier items. From Pix V top monthly level of lighting to trending on art station level of stylization, all you need to do is just to specify it. However, anything V3 is only good as a standalone model. It does very bad if you use it for textual inversion or for fine tuning when compared to using AI. FL. However, what is very interesting is that when you train a textual inversion on AFL and then use it to evaluate through anything V3, it tends to generate significantly better results, which is definitely something I did not expect. Anything V3 is also very good at generating landscapes. It has most likely been fed enough images with anime backgrounds which made any generated image excluding humans feels like it was taken straight out of a visual novel. Anything V3 is very strong at generating scenery with great lighting details which makes the generated images look way more believable. I could definitely see image generating AI like these being used by indie games, visual novels, or even some small anime studios in the near future. Because background illustrations are one of the most tedious parts of making an anime related stuff. What's even better is that people somehow min-max textual inversion even further. For a quick reminder, a few videos ago I introduced Dream Booth and in a lot of ways it's very similar to your typical textual inversion technique where you embed a special character and a subject together. Dream Booth also fine tunes a pre-trained model so that it can be good at generating a specific subject or art style, while only using less than 10 reference images of the subject during training. In quote unquote production, you can easily tell the difference between them because Dream Booth generates a .ckpt model while textual inversion only generates a .pt model which also needs a .ckpt model to run on. To simplify the explanation of Dream Booth even further, you just need to give an AI less than 10 images to learn, sometimes as little as 4 of a particular subject or specific art style, they'll be able to recreate it in different settings easily, compared to before where it took up to around tens or hundreds of reference images for textual inversion and maybe even a few thousands for a proper fine tuning, less than 10 is a huge leap. Pretty amazing, right? Well, now you only need one. After two months Dream Booth was proposed, Dream Artist came out of nowhere, and by proposing a modified textual inversion network, it once again stretched the limit of what AI can do. Let that sink in. Only one image is needed for textual inversion. Absolute bunkers. The results that the author showed were incredibly impressive. My mind was blown out of the planet when I was able to reproduce the same result using the model the author shared on their GitHub. Just look at these, they do not look like something you should be able to achieve using only a single reference image. Of course, it is also thanks to training on AFL and evaluating on anything V3 that this level of quality was produced. But to be completely honest with you all, I still cannot fathom the fact that it only takes one reference image to reproduce a character with such a high level of quality and coherency. Here are some examples to compare the good old textual inversion and the cool new dream artist. But if you still prefer quality over everything else, other improved textual inversion or dream booth methods may still provide better results as well as a more accurate representation of your subject. So dream artist is not really a replacement for the older methods. 
it's pretty much just a pure flex. There are still quite a few other downsides to Dream Artists though, as you might expect, which to be fair is completely reasonable when you only need a single image as a reference. Some of the downsides include one, it has a super long training time that requires at least 40 minutes or two hours, depending on if you're running the reconstruction mode or not. Two, there are crap loads of parameters you have to get it right in order to get a decent result. Or else your result will look butchered if the settings were slightly off. I actually attempted to replicate the author's model and the absolute closest I could get was only to this level of accuracy. Three, this one can be a bit disappointing for the non-weebs to learn, but Dream Artist only works well on illustrations, specifically anime illustrations. As you can see in this general comparison, which compares textual inversion in Dream Booth provided by the author themselves, the anime styled art is definitely more on point. As you can see, the dog is a lot less consistent than the anime characters. So you might be thinking, why a lot of anime stuff is closely related to AI generated art? Well, this may be thanks to how popular and appreciated 2D anime related illustrations are in the online culture, as well as the fact that the most well tagged data on the internet that is open source is illustrations. Also, it cannot help that companies cannot generate something that strays so far into the gray area of generating copyrighted content, which is why most of the anime AI models are released either from unknown sources or made by someone within the community. But perhaps Niji Journey thinks otherwise. If you haven't heard of it, Niji Journey is a collaboration between Mid Journey and Spellbrush, the very Spellbrush that created Waifu Labs, which was the coolest private research that generated the best anime illustrations with Gan before Diffusion even popped back into existence. I was lucky enough to be one of the people invited to test it out during the closed beta and I have got to say, Niji Journey probably contains the best and much more stylized anime related AI art I have ever seen on the internet right now. It is very confident in plenty of different art styles and I am not joking when I talk about stylization. Lighting, reflections, shadows, coherency, it is something that I have never seen before and it made anything V3 look like an amateur. It also has a very good built-in image composition understanding, which is something that you rarely see in other AI models. It can create a super realistic magazine cover or page, and when I first saw that, I had to do a double take because I thought it was post-processed with Photoshop. And surprisingly, its AI models are not afraid of copyright issues. I was shocked at how easily some anime characters could be generated while also maintaining a superb quality that is very hard to replicate with other AI models. So if you want to use and play around with it, you better get Get going before the model gets into legal trouble or has any restrictions put on it. However, since they are completely closed to source, I have absolutely no idea how they have achieved this, which is unfortunate since it means others can replicate this phenomenal AI model. Some people dislike Niji Journey solely for the reason that they are closed sourced and charge people money, but what do you think? Anyways, there is still so much left I want to cover in the realm of AI generated art like the new stuff coming out from Stable Diffusion, but I will keep those for the next video or else this video is never gonna end. So subscribe and stay tuned for that. And if this topic interests you and motivates you to start learning AI or machine learning in general, today's sponsor Brilliant is actually one of the best places to get started. Brilliant is an online learning platform that is basically when your textbooks become alive. It provides a way for you to learn interactively with Brilliant's fun hands on lessons in math, science, and computer science. Research has shown that interactive learning helps you learn six times more efficiently than watching lecture videos, and I totally agree with that. Interactive lessons not only help you visualize problems much quicker, but also are able to illustrate very difficult concepts for you to comprehend faster, which is what plain textbook or YouTube videos cannot help you with. Back in my high school days, I actually used Brilliant along with my calculus class because it was much easier to understand what calculus is on about while you are being freshly introduced to a new field of maths. Brilliant not only have very helpful diagrams for you, but also interactive elements that actually help my understanding much faster than learning the fundamental theorem of calculus through a wordy mathematical definition inside a boring textbook. Not only that, Brilliant also provides a clear roadmap on different subjects for all knowledge levels. From basic algebra to advanced multivariable calculus, from programming with Python to artificial neural networks, Brilliant is full of STEM classes that are usually a pain to study in but made into a much friendlier and digestible format. So yeah, you can quickly get started on Brilliant by heading to brilliant.org slash bycloud to get started for free with Brilliant's ever-expanding interactive lessons and to also support this channel. The first 200 of y'all will also get a 20% off an annual membership. Thank you so much for watching, a huge shout out to Andrew Lascellias, Chris Ledoux, 
Sean77134, and many others that support me through Patreon or YouTube. If you have any questions, feel free to join my Discord and ask there. Follow my Twitter if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next one.